Good morning. I am going to teach you how to draw three animals today. Well, two animals and a car. So you can draw whichever one of these you want. You can draw three of them. You can combine them somehow in your picture, or you can just choose one, okay? So uh, each one is gonna start with a number or a letter. We're gonna start with a U. This first picture is gonna be a frog. So we want a deep curve. Remember, line, dot, curve, angle. So a very deep curve that looks like a U, okay? We're gonna make, on the left side, we're gonna make a small upside down curve, or U, for his ear. I'm sorry, for his eye. We're gonna make a very shallow, slight curve, and then another deep curve for his eye. Now inside, each of these is gonna be a dot, and that's gonna be the frog's eye. This is his body. From eye to eye, we're gonna kinda come in the middle and make a happy face curve. And we're literally drawing a happy face, so let's make another one. Starting over on the left-hand side, go really low and back up. So that's the inside of his mouth. And his tongue is sitting in there waiting for a fly, right? All right, let's come back all the way down to the bottom of this curve. And let's make two straight lines on the left and two straight lines on the right. And these are gonna be his front legs that he jumps with. And then we're gonna make some fingers or I'm not sure what his fingers are called. Are they just fingers? So we're gonna go one, two, three curves. And remember those repeated curves starting on the left, one, two, three curves, okay? Now let's make his big legs on the other side. These are his hoppers. So starting at about the middle of the frog, we're going to make a curve on the left side, come up, over, and all the way back down, kind of flush with this bottom. And then we're gonna make some longer curves. These are gonna be his toes from the back. And then at the last part of this, let's connect it up to the body, okay? And yours can look as similar or different. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're going to start on the right side, middle of his body. We're gonna curve up and come down. Then we're gonna go that way for his toes. One, two, three curves and connect up to his body. And then of course we need his horizon line and you can make his tongue coming out and you can make some flies buzzing around if you want. Okay. All right. So the next drawing we're going to do, I'm going to rotate my paper. You can do yours however you want. I'm going to do a ladybug. You're going to see lots of ladybugs. All right, let's start with the letter T. So a T is made with one line horizontally, and in the middle of that line, we're gonna do a vertical line, okay? From side to side at the top horizontal line, the top of the T, we're gonna make a rainbow curve. Okay and we're gonna come back down to the bottom of the vertical line and we're gonna make an angle or just two diagonal lines on either side of the vertical line, okay? From the left side, end of the T, we're gonna make a curve and it's gonna meet us at the bottom of this angle and I'm gonna have to draw a line going up a little bit to meet that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, around, and then draw up to meet that. Okay, so you've got this really nice angle right here. Now the rest are going to be very organic, nice and curvy legs. So we've got one leg, two legs, 
three, four, five, and six. So he has six legs. Let's make his face or his little tiny head up here is gonna be an upside down U curve and two dots for eyes. And then he has antennas, which are gonna be wiggly curves. On either side of his body, these are his wings, we are gonna make curves that form the shape of a circle. And they can be very loose and organic. They don't have to be perfect. And he could be either in the grass, maybe he's in the grass, or maybe he's flying around in the sky. You decide, okay? The last thing we're gonna draw today is the car. And we're gonna start with the letter S. So make a big wide S on your paper. And we're going to start at this bottom part of his S and we're gonna extend it a little bit more this way. And this is gonna be the bottom of the car, okay? We're gonna make a curve on top and a curve on bottom to make wheels. And you can erase that later. And then we're gonna make another curve on top, curve on bottom for wheels. Let's put another one inside. Okay, so those are his front shaped wheels. We're gonna do a half curve here for the wheel that's on the other side, okay? And we don't really see this part on the other side. So now I'm gonna come up here and in about the middle of, maybe right above this wheel, I'm gonna make a line, a straight line going up and it's gonna go through that top S, okay? This is gonna be the windshield and this is gonna be the rest of the car. At the end of this line, I'm gonna curve it. Now I've already made this wheel over here. So I'm going to make a big curve and it's going to meet the end of the S on the left side of the wheel. And then you get to decorate it however you want to. So um, I'm going to make a little fender here. I'm going to put a repeated angle to decorate my car. And you can color that any way you want to. Let's give my car a front fender here. He's gonna be his little nose. And if you want to, a curve and a curve for his mouth. Now, since we're kind of giving it human traits, let's go ahead and give him a windshield curve, curve for eyebrows and two little eyes. Make sure to, to draw your horizon line and where is your car gonna go? Is he gonna go into the city? I don't know. You decide. Okay, remember you can do all of them. You can do one of them. Color them, paint them, use markers like we did for the rabbit. Have fun.